Hey guys, welcome back to some more reviews, and today we're talking about Martyrs. This is a 2008 film with 7.1 on IMDb, and was written by Pascal Lahir. Now, this is a movie that i seen quite a while ago, but I still remember most of this film. And it was a movie that I meant to review back when I first watched it, but never got around to actually talking about it, so I figured I would save that for this video and talk about just how well made this movie really is and you know I, I definitely wanted to give this movie a review because this is a really solid horror film and one of the best examples of a true horrifying and disturbing experience um, from the 2000s and I know there have been films I've reviewed foreign horror films that have remakes you know I've talked about uh, funny games which has a remake this has a remake Talked about Suspiria, which has a remake. Um, one day I'll give those a watch. Most of those remakes are shot for shot, so they're just straight up, straight, just straight out shot for shot remakes of the original film. So in reality, I don't really have to see them, only just to see different acting and different direction, different you know takes on certain things. But maybe one day I will see the Martyrs remake. I just heard really bad things about it, and I really, honestly, this movie told the story well to me. This was the perfect way to tell the story. It's a very hard from the get through. It's a very brutal and really just heartbreaking film. This is a film that one of the first things that come to my mind is heartbreaking, and just a movie that is such a mean-spirited film. But I feel like it's done with a purpose. You know, it's not just one of those mindless, pointless, violent movie, disturbing movie for shock value type stuff. No, this movie tells an excellent story. And the story basically, you start out with this family that gets brutally murdered. And I mean, it's a horrific scene where Lucy, this girl who was you find out tortured a long time ago by these anonymous people you don't know who these people are but when she was young she was tortured by these people and you see this in flashbacks and when she kills this family you don't know this and it's brutal it's a horrifying opening the family is just enjoying breakfast they're kind of talking back and forth and she just comes with a shotgun and just murders them all and it's a very brutal scene it's a very shocking scene to where when the movie opens up, I'm like, holy shit. And Lucy and Anna, they're best friends. Anna, you could kind of say, is attracted to Lucy. Maybe they're, she wants to be with her, but Lucy kind of sees Anna as just more of a friend. But you get the idea that maybe Anna wants to be, you know, more than Lucy's friend. She has feelings for Lucy, but... Um, they're trying to figure out, you know, what, why this happened. You know, Anna trying to figure out why Lucy did this. And you get flashbacks to Lucy being tortured by people. And you find out that there are these people that keep other people underground and torture them. And the goal of this is to get these people that get tortured. They are so beyond... You know, their mind, their, their, their psyche, everything has just been so broken down that maybe they see a glimpse of the beyond, the afterlife, that they see farther than the world that we know. And this organization is trying to figure out what is on the other side. You know, what do these people see? And it's a really well made film. This is a film that I think, although the subject matter, it's like Cannibal Holocaust, subject matter is very hard to sit through, it's a very difficult movie to watch, it's brutal, it's bloody, it's extreme, and it's done so realistically that it's just, you could say it's depressing, you could say it's sad, you could say it's heartbreaking, because it's a movie with no hope to it, you know, there's no hope to this movie while you're watching, there's no magical you know, thing that can happen, and oh, the characters are saved, and oh, this happens, and that happens. No, it's a very raw and realistic approach to this horror that we're seeing on the screen, this this horror that we're witnessing of the torture scenes, of the murder scenes, 
Um, it's a really well made movie, and it's a true horror film. And the fact that this is the horror that bothers me, this is the horror that you know I like psychological horror as well. I like horror movies that can really make you feel bad for characters to the point to where I'll be honest, I was on the verge of tears. Uh, and a certain point in this movie where Anna's being tortured, it, it will make you almost on the verge of tears. It is heartbreaking. It is sad. This is definitely not a fun movie to watch. It's not a movie that you can sit down and watch for, you know, popcorn entertainment. It's a really emotional film. And these are the kind of horror movies that really get me creeped out and scared and feeling bad for characters. You know, this and Inside. Really, two French horror films and also funny games. So, so far, French horror films have been amazing. You know, they've been emotional and psycho uh, psychiatric and they've been thrillers. They've been, you know, just really intense and violent. And they're horror movies that, that you know, really do scare me, you know, because they actually have plots. They actually have meaning. They're not just pointless gore. Um, and I know this movie, when it came out, had gotten, sorry about that, I got some hiccups. I know this movie, when it came out, it was very mixed as far as, like, reactions to it. Some people loved it, some people hated it, some people saw it as a movie that just pointless violence. But for me, I feel like the story is so interesting and well done and realistically done and well directed that it is a very tragic st story, it's a very tragic tale, but I think it's well made. And I will say this, this is definitely one of the best horror films from the 2000s. It is a really solid horror movie. Um, the violent scenes, uh, the idea of Anna finding this girl, I guess you could say, spoiler alert here, but if you haven't seen Martyrs, I will say this, it's a very brutal and tough film to get through. There is a lot of violence and just heartbreaking scenes and the third act is very emotional. I also want to say the music is beautiful. There's a track from this movie called My Neighborhood. Now I can't remember what the band is called but it was made by a certain group. If you look up Martyrs, type in My Neighborhood. Martyrs, My Neighborhood official soundtrack. That track played at the end of the movie it will make you on the verge of tears. That's how well done that movie well that this is a well-done movie, but that's how well done that scene is, and how well acted it is. I want to say this too: the girls um, in this movie, Anna and Lucy, the actresses did an amazing job playing these two characters. They both did amazing as both. Really, they're two leads. You know, Anna is more of this girl who doesn't know what's going on. She's kind of innocent, and you know, the lead that we think is going to be is Lucy. And so Lucy, and like I said, we'll get to that. I don't want to say too much right now because we're in the non spoiler part of the video. But I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's a really awesome horror film. If you haven't seen Murders yet, you need to watch it. It's. I will say this, though. Prepare for it being not a jolly experience. It's dark. It's brutal. It's violent. It's got violence you know, towards women. It's a lot of just people getting, women getting, you know, and it's sad. It's women getting beat up and stuff. It's not for everyone. It's not a movie that I would say is very, you know, happy to watch or cheerful to watch. No, it is a grim, dark horror film. But I do think it is well made. It is a tragic story. It is a horrible story. But it is a story that is done well it's done with direction and writing it's done with acting and music and camera work and atmosphere and just everything this is a really great horror film so eight and a half out of uh, eight and a half out of ten for me really well made horror film that's going to be the end of the non-spoiler part of the review so if you haven't seen martyrs yet go watch it but i will warn you it is very tough to get through so be prepared for when you watch this movie um, to get into the spoilers, though, to get into some scenes that I really enjoyed, well, I couldn't say, I can't say I really enjoyed them because it was a hard movie to watch, but the, the scenes that I thought were well done and just hard-hitting for me is where Anna's friend Lucy kills herself 
because she's seen these weird looking creatures kind of like zombies you could say trying to kill her and it's very brutal a lot of stabbing through the hand through the arm a lot of the just well done practical effects very brutal stuff but I like the uh, well I, I thought the the idea was interesting in how she's so out there she's so gone because of the torture that she's seen these things and she can't take it anymore it's a very tragic and again a scene that's very hard to, to watch where she kills herself and the acting these characters you're given time to know them to go to like these characters you feel bad for this character Lucy that she's she's just so tortured by everything that happened to her it's very tragic and when she kills herself it is a scene that will bring tears to your eyes almost it is a really emotional scene and the third act where Anna gets kidnapped and tortured by these people is just absolutely heartbreaking She's getting, you know, beat up. She gets skinned alive. It's horrible. It is absolutely horrible. And it is very violent. It is very hard to watch. But when the acting is on point, when the direction is on point, like, it, it really is very effective. Um, and it is, it's just heartbreaking. It's sad. And the ending... It is definitely downer. It is a movie that doesn't really have any hope to it. Doesn't really have, you know, nothing really come to save the day. It's a movie that the bad guys win and the villains are just heartless. And it is a very tragic ending where Anna is so out there, she's on the brink of death. And you have that scene where she sees what is on the other side. And the ending you can interpret in different ways because they tell the, the girl that what Anna saw and the main villain chick, she kills herself. But it is a very tragic movie. It's a very hard movie to sit through. It's not a movie that I'd probably watch all the time because, again, like Cannibal Holocaust, it's just hard to watch, hard to sit through, very dark and very brutal. But I will say this. It is a truly effective horror film. It's a horror film that really scared me and creeped me out and also made me just sad and, and emotional watching it. It's a well-made movie, extremely uh, well-made and, and also just well done. It's got music, it's got the cinematography and direction, the atmosphere and the beautiful shots of the woods and the atmosphere I thought was just really well done and it was also creepy when it needed to be um, the effects are absolutely breathtaking I mean you have a scene where Anna finds this girl who was tortured by this family and it's it's horrible she her skin the way she looks it is just horrible it's very sad uh, when she finds this girl and the girl ends up killing herself it's it's really sad uh, but I will say this it's not a very like fun movie to watch at all it, it's just it's a well done horror film it's a true horrifying experience and yeah I gave it an eight, in a, in a, uh, I gave it an eight and a half out of ten because it is a well made horror film. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching my review of Martyrs. What do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Explorer 4 is out, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.